Wearable Arduino boards are an ever-growing market. The Internet of Things and wearable electronics in general is just so popular that it's only natural to see the Arduino movement also go towards more wearable boards. And today I have a whole bunch of different wearables to look at. It's not all of them, it's just some of the ones that I've used or some of the ones that I prefer, but there are many different ones out there. And I'm gonna talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of the boards and what to look out for before jumping in and buying your first wearable board. Now that being said, wearable, right? I can take this and strap it to my wrist. That's a wearable. Yeah, it's a little impractical. But my point is, this can be wearable. This can go into a, even a cardboard box and be worn on my side or in a bag. When you're prototyping, use what you have on hand. Don't get stuck into buying a smaller board that has other capabilities, maybe even more difficult to use when you're just trying to prototype your idea. So you can still start with this. And I've seen wearable products where I've had students have this strapped to their arm and it's ridiculous. They eventually want to get down to, you know, a small little board, maybe not that one, but maybe something like this. So don't discount this as a wearable for prototyping. But once you get that done, you want to start playing around with things that you can really functionally wear and use. And I have a bunch here. The first one I'm going to look at is probably one of the first ones that came to market is the lily pad. And this is a proto snap board. I'm not going to snap them apart right now because they actually lose a little bit of functionality for testing when I break it apart. But basically this board comes out and you have essentially an Arduino board on here. Now, a few caveats. You have to program it with another breakout board. This will allow you to program the board through USB. And it also has some pretty neat features. These holes here, you can use conductive thread to sew onto them to make your wearable, or you can use something like these connectors and prototype your board with that. So if I wanted to say add, let's see what we have here. Here's whole bunch of LEDs I could break apart. I could snap that there and snap that here and make a connection, you know, run the positive and negative, run it to a pin, whatever your circuit requires and do a quick prototype. Later, I can get rid of these and actually use conductive thread and have that wearable or sewn into a garment or sewn into an enclosure. The lily pad has a lot of accessories. They have little pager motor for vibration. They have piezos for beeping, LEDs, buttons, switches, a lot of really cool stuff. And you can buy boards like this that come as a nice starter kit. There are even things like accelerometers and all of that. So that's the lily pad. They also even have this. I have one of these, it's called a tiny twinkle. And this actually you can connect LEDs to and it will twinkle them like fireflies. And this is running actually an ATtiny85, although it doesn't look like you can very easily reprogram it. Another one I wanna look at is the Gemma. This is by Adafruit. And this is also running an ATtiny85, and it allows you to do the same kind of clip connections for prototyping or sew in here. And they have NeoPixels, the smart RGB LEDs that you can connect up to this and make them any color you want. There's also other accessories like LiPo batteries you might want to look into. Here's a lily pad coin cell battery for powering up your wearable project. Another one that I really love is this one. It's called Tiny Circuits. And if I plug this into right here, hopefully the demo will go up. There you go. It's a little flappy bird demo. And what's neat about this platform is it's one of the few wearables that have these modules like a screen and the main controller and battery boards and they snap on top of each other allowing you to create these really cool applications and this was for a watch that i made a while ago using the code available online then the last one i want to look at is this one the circuit playground this is kind of the newcomer on the block i'll power it up just off the battery pack here And what I like about this one is it has buttons, it has a lot of built-in things like a piezo and LEDs and sensors. It's quite a cool board. Again, it allows you to clip onto it, it allows you to sew to it, very easy to program. And all these boards you can program through the Arduino IDE. You load up the board file. Some of them you have to use an FTDI breakout board like this one. 
and some you can just plug a micro USB into and you're off and running. So there are a lot of different wearable boards out there, but like I said in the beginning, you're still probably better off prototyping with the Arduino and then moving over to a platform that seems to fit your needs the best.